everyone, I'm back, LOL Real Manga here, and right now I'm going to show you how to panel a page so very simply and easy into Comic Works. First you want to start it with, of course, the page you want, and the panel you want to outline. I'm going to outline this panel right here, and if you can't see it, you're about to. I'm going to add a new layer, because adding any kind of ink line to the Primero document will make it part of the line art, and we do not want that. Um, because when you erase... Oh, I missed my webcom. You erase part of the line work, and that's bad stuff there. So, <laughs> let's not do any of that, and set up a new layer so we avoid that altogether. And remember to, that you are using that ink layer, um, on top of the line art. So! To start off a new panel, uh, you want to set up the line tool. The line tool is right there, right under the paint bucket. And to modify it, because you will need to modify it, set up this guy. And you could probably find this window right here. Wait, find this window right here <laughs> by opening Windows, um, the Window tab, and then selecting the tool when well, part of the tool window and the pen window and the preview layer, whatever those things are, but yeah, that's basically how you find it, because this, uh, this thing, doohickey right here, um, lets you modify any of the tools, except for the pen tool, because that's right here, that's like special or something, so, get out of the way, line tool, right, right, you have this ex extracting button, and what that does it makes the line thinner as it goes out. So it makes it kind of like embracing lines or whatever. So that's really super nifty if you need that. Um, but that always is checked when you click the line tool or when you first set up comic works or whatever. So uh, when you're making panels, uh, unless you intend to actually do it that way, click that off. Um, Make sure it's a straight line. You could also do do the panels as a polygon line. And what that does is click, 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 click. And then right click. And you got yourself a panel right there. But we're not trying to go for that. I prefer doing things the line way. You just drag. You click drag, let go, click drag, let go, there you go, you've got yourself a panel right there. Now you may see some lines like that are a little off to the side right there that are going off what you want, get out of the way. That's when you take the nifty eraser tool and just erase, it's not that hard or um, unless you go really off the page or whatever or you're perfectionist and you're kind of like, ah, these don't light up, blah, blah, blah. And in that case, I would suggest the polygon tool. And you got yourself a perfect panel right there, folks. It's fantastic. You see how easy that was? The line tool is really nifty for things like that. Uh, if you want to make, what are you, <laughs> word bubbles? <laughs> so bad. I'll show you also how to use word bubbles with the line tool. Heck, this is a line tool video now. You're welcome. Okay, to make like word bubbles, what I do, t this is a, suge a suggestion, I usually do word bubbles at the last part, but for goodness sake, I'll just, uh, wrong, wrong, this is also how to, uh, put words in your bubbles, it's a different layer, I'll probably explain this later to you, but I mean, repetition in explaining things is good because then people will get it. Um, click OK. I'll explain all this later, yeah, but this is just putting words in first, OK? And uh, I'll show you how to to add word a word layer because you can't just put in words or whatever. You have to add a string layer and that will set up a new layer for you with new words. But for right now, just put that there and get you a new layer and then the circle tool 
circle tool it. Get your pen tool. Ooh, not erase tool. Am I crazy? Draw a extension thingy. Yeah, I'm good with words, I tell ya. And you have yourself a word bubble. See how easy that was? Pretty nifty. But there's also a million other ways to do this. And uh, probably you guys could find better ways to do it too on other programs and such and such. But this is just how I work things on Comic Works. And uh, just to show you how awesome it is and how easy it is. We also have the rectangle tool. Say you have a panel right here that is a perfect rectangle. What you want to do is just drag and drop. You got yourself another perfect panel. Isn't that so easy? Gotta make sure it's on the panel line too. And again, Voila! It's really super nifty! And another thing... Oh, heck, I'll just make more panels. <laughs> Straight line panel. Just drag and drop. Another panel! Super easy, you guys. Super, super easy. Mm, you could also make the lines thicker. Thick lines. Or if you're doing like a far off background, you could always uh, use the smallest pen. I knew that. And that's a uh, 0 0.10. And here's also a fun little trick that I've learned over the past years. Want to get a rectangle tool? Rectangle tool. Just rectangle it again. We're not. This is just how to show you another panel. Select that panel. Get your tones out. Ooh, or not. Let's go with dots. Doots, doots, doots. Ah, it's too small. Can't see it. Why not? You can see that. Alrighty. So we got a pen, um, not a pen, you got a pen, not a pen tool. Darn it! You got the tones inside of the selected area. But what you do now is go to inverse the selected, and that selects the, the darker outlines that aren't in the, uh, the tone pattern. Click the erase tool. Erase, deselect, and then you have a panel right here. Ain't that nifty? I'm going now. This is LOL Real Manga, and now you know how to do panels in Comic Works. Woohoo! Any questions? I'll try and answer them. Bye!